And now we're over here at a, a different mill. This is actually one of our newest mills. It's a uh, Haas VF3 Super Speed. This thing moves faster than almost the eye can catch. Let's see if we can catch it with the camera. What we're going to be working on today is actually uh, a piece for a grill that you're going to have an opportunity to see just in a minute for the uh, fast food industry. We're starting out with a piece of uh, raw aluminum that gets uh, cut to size back in the, in the uh, saw department. And we're going to be basically removing all the metal from that that you see here. So the reason that we actually run this operation on a super speed machine is because we're removing so much material so quickly that it's a much more efficient way of doing it. This is aluminum, so we can cut it a little faster than we might be able to cut a steel or a stainless steel, but you can still see that there's a lot of material that needs to come off of there. So Nate here is gonna show us real quick what a tool change would look like in a super speed machine, and uh, then we'll begin making this part. Pretty fast. So now that that's basically uh, in, this is one of our uh, roughing tools that's gonna go around the perimeter of the part, and you can see how quickly that's removing material. And with most of our machines, we never really push the limits of the machine. I mean, we always run them as efficiently as we feel comfortable, but we don't like to go too far because then it basically, yeah, you can make, you can make parts faster, remove metal faster, but it puts undue wear on your machines. And one thing that we're very, very uh, critical of is the quality of our equipment. We buy almost all brand new equipment. We never buy anything used, and we replace it every five years. Like I had mentioned, it's all identical equipment. So the other benefit of that is we actually have our own in-house guy who's trained to basically repair all the machines in our building. So if we had five or six brands of equipment, we wouldn't be able to do that. But with one brand of equipment, it gives us the opportunity to be very efficient with our pre preventative maintenance as well as our service when things do happen. And they do. But uh, we can be up running in hours versus being up and running in days. All right, welcome to Safari over here in our horizontal room. What you're gonna see in this area is basically uh, our very high production machine. So you can see on this one that you're looking at right now, we have a, uh, a dual pallet machine in here, which basically allows us to load parts on the external pallet while we're making the parts on the internal pallet, saving setup time. This job used to take us maybe six, seven minutes to change over. Now it takes 30 seconds. All one shuttle has to do is come out and go to the, uh, go to the other one and going in. And then moving on down the line, the rest of the machines that you're actually going to see in here are horizontal machining centers. These also have pallet changing capability. So we can just keep running very efficiently um, as best as we can. This last one that you're looking at right now actually has a 70 tool changer. And I'm going to explain to you in one minute why, uh, why that is. So if we go over here to the table, we're going to have the opportunity to see some of the other components that we make. You saw the first rifle we had, and I'm going to actually show you a little more close-up of that in a second. These guns are actually uh, sold by New Dart, the premier maker in the industry of, of projectors. So this actually has no internal charge into it. It actually is all driven by air. So this right here is where the air would go on. Now, the reason I was telling you earlier that we have a 70 tool changer, the reason that that's important is we basically used to make these components for, for this customer, and what we would do is we would make 100 of this. We'd then make 100 of this. We'd then make 100 of this and 100 of this. And you know, basically, the problem there was the fact that it would take us sometimes two and a half months just to be able to put together an entire set of 100 units. Well, what we've done, and the reason that the 70 tool changer is so important, is right now we turn out 16 different components off of that last machine you saw every four to four and a half hours. So basically, every four and a half hours, we're turning out a complete set of parts for a, right, for a rifle or a pistol. I think the rifle takes about four and a half hours, pistol takes about four hours. But you can see on this, there's just endless internal keyways in these parts. And and they take sometimes 45 minutes a cycle. So now we're actually able to include that into one setup, and while the guy is actually uh, running that, he now has the opportunity to run multiple machines because he has a longer setup. So moving down here to the rifle, this thing is just so cool. I mean, basically, this is, uh, this is equipped for bear. They're gonna have this on a TV show coming up soon where they're actually hunting big cats. Um, there's some, some big cat that got loose up in New York and they're gonna be uh, tracking them with this. But it has a flashlight mechanism on it. 
It actually has a laser pointer on it that we can actually uh, do that. A lot of these rifles will be sold to different uh, deer farms and game preserves and things along those lines. Um, basically, your, your pressure is controlled right here with your uh, knob. And then in the back here, we can see what our pressure rating is. So that gives us the opportunity to be able to see what range it is. So if you're shooting a rhinoceros, you're going to want to have the pressure up a little higher than you might for a deer. And most of the times, these aren't used to kill animals in any way, shape, or form. It's actually used to administer medicine to an animal. Um, you know, when you have a big open range of deer, it's very difficult to get up close enough to them to actually inject the medicine. So this is what allows them to be able to do that. These are sold, again, all throughout the world. Australia is a very, very big um, market for these particular type of, of units. This is a one of a kind in their industry. We used to actually make components for a 22 caliber rifle that we converted into an air gun, but now Blair, the uh, Blair Shores, the owner, just an incredible visionary, had the uh, foresight to come up with his own rifle. And uh, I applaud him for that, and we're more than happy to make them. Now we're gonna actually do a little bit of a test of these too. So uh, let's see what we got. All right. All right, so uh, what we're shooting here today, basically, uh, Big bear here in Pennsylvania. And we have a successful shot. All right, and the next partner we're gonna show you, we'd shown you when we were on the mill, we were actually machining out a part for a grill. Well, this is the grill that we're machining those parts out for. The important thing with these grills is that they come down perfectly level with the surface of the grill. They heat from both sides, which basically allows you to make a, a burger very, very quickly. You can do eight cheeseburger patties on this in 29 seconds, and it takes 36 seconds to do a quarter pound patty. So you can imagine, that's from a frozen state, you can imagine the incredible heat that's being applied to that. We actually don't make this entire unit, but we do make many, many, many of the components that are on this. We've been a partner with this company for pretty well as long as I can imagine. We've come out with some new products, you know, helping them do design for manufacture. And um, you know, it is the premier grill in the industry. You'll see here over to the side, you have grease trays and everything like that to make it very easy for you to get your grease off. You can pick these out, remove it, but you can see the level of quality that's put into every grill and uh, you know, basically achieves the highest heat out in the industry, which gives them a, a leg up on the competition. You can see some of the other unique things that we're working on with them and a, a wide range of different products that you see here on the table. Now this one here in the case, there's a very, very interesting story with this. We just moved to this building about a year and a half ago. And the, uh, the, our old building was much smaller. We're now in about 46,000 square feet. When we moved into this building, we always said if we had a bigger building, we'd be able to double. Well, last year when we moved into this building, we basically were uh, forced to eat our words or uh, actually double. So what happened is uh, throughout the year, we worked to double. And the very last day of the year, 10.30 in the morning, we actually doubled our business. And uh, of course, I had to play a joke on the guys and tell them at the end of the day that we didn't quite make it. But, uh, and I finally said, hey, look, we're only one part short. And I took this part on the machinery here behind me and basically was able to uh, press that last bushing in for us to make our goal. And uh, we actually paid out $5,000 bonuses for every employee in-house. One of the goals that we have and one of the sayings we have is that we always eat out of the same bowl and only happy customers keep it full. And we're very serious about that. And the unfortunate thing about that is I'm always also the last one to eat. So uh, we want to make sure that you know, our employees are 100% invested both uh, financially and intrinsically in the future of our company and the success of our customers and our partners like Garland. 